I have never met a man so ignorant that I couldn't learn something from him. I do not feel obliged to believe that the same God who has endowed us with sense, reason, and intellect has intended us to forego their use. You cannot teach a man anything. You can only help him find it within himself. In questions of science, the authority of a thousand is not worth the humble reasoning of a single individual. All truths are easy to understand. Once they are discovered, the point is to discover them. Passion is the genesis of genius. The sun, with all those planets revolving around it, independent on it, can still ripen a bunch of grapes as if it had nothing else in the universe to do. It is a beautiful and delightful sight to behold the body of the moon. Wine is sunlight held together by water. There are those who reason well, but they are greatly outnumbered by those who reason badly. Ever see Muav? Measure what can be measured and make measurable what cannot be measured. Mathematics is the language in which God has written the universe. It is surely harmful to souls to make it a heresy to believe what is proved. By denying scientific principles, one may maintain any paradox. I've loved the stars too fondly to be fearful of the night. The Bible shows the way to go to heaven, not the way the heavens go. We cannot teach people anything. We can only help them discover it within themselves. Measure what is measurable and make measurable what is not so. Aunt, believe me, if I were again beginning my studies, I should follow the advice of Plato and start with mathematics. In the future, there will be opened a gateway and a road to a large and excellent science into which minds more piercing than mine shall penetrate to recesses still deeper. The fear of infinity is a form of myopia that destroys the possibility of seeing the actual infinite, even though it, in its highest form has created and sustains us. Who would set a limit to the mind? Who would dare assert that we know all there is to be known? Enthusiastic people experience life from the inside out. About five years ago, I was engaged in preparing a catalogue of the ancient books which belong to Christ's hospital. Where the senses fail us, reason must step in. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.